Remember that time I stuffed that catfish? Well, let me show y'all how I did it. So first I got a beautiful filet like so. I went to Randall's and got this. I should have went to Kroger's, but it ain't even about all that right now. <laughs> so I got some blackening seasoning um, that I actually made myself. I'm going to drop in the comments um, how you can make it yourself, which is pretty easy. Or I'm going to drop and I'm going to drop in the comments um, a few blackened seasonings that I prefer. Okay, so you know I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I'm doing anything with black and seasoning, I really do not have a limit. I just make sure that it's fully covered in the seasonings. Only because um, it really doesn't have a taste to me. But let's go ahead and continue. So you're going to set them pretty little fillets to the side. And we're going to go ahead and work on the shrimp. So what I did was melt one tablespoon of butter. With the same blackened seasoning that I used on the fillets, I went ahead and put on the shrimp. And I also added a little parsley to it to give it a little, you know, a little look or whatever. I did add some minced garlic to that as well. I forgot to tell y'all. And also something called roasted garlic that I got from uh, McCormick. I'll also add that in the comments as well. So this is the result that we're looking for. Um, I usually let it cook on... Um, three minutes each side but you know for the visuals sometimes i gotta play in them or whatever but when i'm cooking it regular the only thing that i do is you know just let it sit for like three minutes on each side so now that we got the shrimp out the way let's go ahead and work on the filling okay so we're going to use cream cheese we're going to use um the packaged crawfish tails but the only thing different i did was i rinsed and i drained them we're going to use cooked crab meat and i use the lump instead of the claws and then we add the shrimp in we're going to mix it up real good and i did season that as well i'll drop that in the comment and don't be like me y'all go ahead and soften that um that cream cheese up you know you're gonna use it don't be last minute like me so this is the effect after i had everything mixed up all good and then i added shredded pepper jack cheese you can choose which cheese that you want to use i prefer the pepper jack cheese i would try mozzarella as well and maybe some parmesan maybe a mix but um i use pepper jack cheese this time it was just a spur of the moment idea okay y'all remember them pretty fillets let's go ahead and bring them back to the table so with one side that seasoned down i went ahead and filled it up when i really filled it i really can't tell you how much i put you just have to watch and just like do a guesstimate to see because they did kind of bust open but that's the effect that i really kind of wanted to go for and if i was y'all i would like dump a little cheese on top of this i didn't do that but now that i'm watching i should have put like a little extra cheese on top you know or maybe that's too cheesy i don't know y'all one of y'all try it out and let me know <laughs> okay but you know me and the visuals so then what you do is you top it with the other one like so bam and then look what we got two pretty fillets laying on top of each other with cream in the middle not even being nasty don't do it <laughs> all right so now let's go ahead and get it blackened so what i did was just stuff it with a few toothpicks you know like around the edges to make sure it, it closed tightly but let me tell y'all how i didn't even use the toothpicks that much but i'm gonna show y'all so you're gonna season your one tablespoon of butter you're going to add your fillets in and you're going to let it cook on each side. I let them cook approximately maybe four or five minutes per side and I had it on medium heat. This is how it looked after I flipped it. I did remove the two picks because the cheese is going to kind of hold it together. Um, so when I flipped it, I just used two spatulas. Y'all got to get it in how you live. But you know you can also blacken your fish by baking it. But I like the skillet effect better. So then I went ahead and put it um, in the oven. And what I did was I didn't have any lemons, no whole lemons to do the lemon wedges. So what I did was like kind of put a little lemon juice on top of it um, so it doesn't dry out. Put a little parsley on it and then I went ahead and tossed that baby in the oven. So disclaimer, since this was my first time doing something like this, um, I just kept constantly checking it. So you'll keep seeing the development um, as the slides continue because I was just checking on it, you know, to see and waiting until it got to where I needed it to go. But I think I baked it for a total of 
30 minutes. But I don't want to lie to y'all. That's what I don't want to do. So if you do it, kindly drop in the comments and let me know how long you baked it when it was fully cooked. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So look at this baby. We are done. This is before I plated it. But yes, that joint was bomb. It was bomb. Sorry to be yelling at y'all like that, but it was bomb. Like, y'all got to try it. Please try this and let me know in the comments. This video hit a million views yeah. in four days. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that, like, at all. But there y'all go. All right, let's eat. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Zabi Cooking, not Za. Also, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how you fooling with it. Let me know what you want to see next, and I got you. Thank y'all for watching. Baby, <laughs> baby,